The 2021 broadcast class is made up of some of the most talented students this program has ever had. And this class has also gone through the most challenging year this program has ever seen. But from Zoom to the studio, these seniors kept the Wolfcast on for their community. First year seniors like Preston Scott and Sam Matt learned to adapt and find their place in an already new environment. Amelia Caza provided thoughtful and original pieces to the Wolfcast, including her segment, Austin Eats. Brooke Meredith doubled her time at CPHS News as a reporter and the mastermind behind many of our professional motion graphics. Then there's Griffin, a soulful and positive light in the program who spent most of his time taking care of things behind the camera, but also energizing up and hyping up those in the studio. Nacho Miguel always brought passion and purpose to every story he covered for the Wolfcast. From the pandemic to mental health awareness, he gave students invaluable information. As a second year staff member, Luke Johnson took his work to a whole new level this year as our sports director. He spent countless nights on the sidelines of games and brought a new kind of energy to our sports report. Texas Tech will be lucky to have him next year. And one day, ESPN will be too. Gigi Muniz is another second year student who made her way to become, earn her way to become associate producer this year. Gigi has been a dedicated producer meeting with staff on Zoom at all hours of the night to help them with their projects, while also putting out her own great reports. She has been the heart of broadcast this year. Another essential but behind the scenes senior, Travis Weir. While he never agreed to be on camera, I did get at least one picture of him. Travis truly saved the day for the Wolfcast many times. No Friday Wolfcast would be complete without John Pay. For three years, John has produced one of the show's most popular segments. Your pet of the week. But on top of that, he was also able to cover some of this year's most important stories. John has always been a dependable and honest reporter. Brody Bush is someone in this program we could always count on to make us smile, laugh, and bring a dose of positivity to our countless Zoom meetings. He could also be found alongside Connor on one of our most popular Wolfcast segments ever, Dr. Love. Best thing to remember and do on Valentine's Day is to have fun. Speaking of Connor, while Connor wasn't always the best at giving love advice, he was one of the best at tech. He remains one of the most kind and hardworking students I have ever met. His dedication to CPHS news and work ethic was unmatched this year. Then there's Victor Martinez. Victor has brought countless skills to our program as a young and award-winning filmmaker. He has been the go-to for staff help on editing and filming. Victor was also smart and well-spoken on our weekly segment, The Pack Chat, always providing insights and entertaining commentary. One person I'm just not sure how we will survive without next year is Elizabeth Kors. She has been the rock of our program as assignment editor, keeping both the class, and let's be honest, the advisor, in check and organized. She also managed to put together great stories and segments, including Cooking with Claire. I don't like being yelled at! I'm gonna yell at you! On top of being a great cook, Claire Millay has spent the last two years in this program as associate and then executive producer. Claire has radiated positivity in a year with so many negatives. She has been an excellent leader and motivator for this team. She has grown into a wonderfully strong leader. One of the most energetic and entertaining people in broadcast over the last three years has certainly been Justin Bohr, also known as Jay Money. He has brought humor and laughter to our staff through his segments like Hungry Hungry Houston and his banter at the anchor nice desk. Car. Right. Wow. Scoot, no, a mad scooter? Mad, yeah. Okay. Scooter. Flying into the car. Finally, the Wolfcast longest serving anchor, Ella Neal. Ella joined broadcast the sophomore after she left FFA and quickly rose to the position of anchor. Ella was a natural for the desk with personality and confidence that helped us win state last year. Um, okay. Like, why don't I have a boyfriend on Valentine's Day? Ella is leaving big shoes to fill for our future Wolfcast anchors. Overall, this class will be deeply missed, but they are leaving behind an even deeper legacy. Thank you, thank you, 
thank you. It has been my privilege to be your broadcast advisor. No matter where you go after this, I will always be rooting for you. I loved it. No, yeah, I, I love that. I think they show. killed it. They killed it.